Welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to show you how to actually set up your landing page within Go High Level. So a landing page for those of you who don't know is a website that you specifically use to run your ads. So let's say you run solar ads or any kind of ads on Facebook. You want to redirect the traffic to a landing page. So a landing page can look something like this right here where you just have like a headline and then you have a survey for example where you um, just capture the lead uh, and it's very straightforward but this video is not going to be about how to build a landing page it's going to be about how to set a landing page up in your go high level account um, and then how to actually connect it with your facebook uh, to properly track the data and all the leads that come in it's a bit of a complicated process but i'm going to try to explain it as simple as possible so first of all we are in the go, go high level dashboard right here so we are in the sub account uh, and first thing you do is you just go to sites right here and then under funnels you should have all your funnels listed if you don't have any funnels right here yet you should uh, just click new funnel and then create one and then you just have to build it out i have tutorials on my youtube channel on how to build a good landing page and if you sign up with my go high level affiliate link in the description um you will also get my snapshot plus a 14 day free trial so with my snapshot you will get all my landing page templates in your account for free so you can use them for yourself well let me just show you an example so i have this landing page right here so i will click on it and as you can see it's it's in here with multiple pages um i can even click on this uh, view page button right here and i will be able to uh, view the landing page but it's not live yet because we didn't connect a domain for it so um what i mean by that is uh, obviously like when you go on google and you type in a domain like I don't know affordable solar.net then it's gonna bring you to a website so first thing that you want to do is when you have your funnel ready and built out like this is you want to click on to settings at the bottom left and then you're gonna scroll down to domains and right here you want to click add domain so um, yeah you should just go ahead and add your domain I will try to just add a subdomain so I do test dot so when you put your domain in, uh, you can now click continue. And if you got your domain set up on GoDaddy uh, or other services like Cloudflare, it will automatically basically recognize uh, the domain provider and you can just click authorize domain. It will immediately just bring you to your domain provider and you uh, just log in as simple as that. And then you click connect close and it will bring you back here and then you need to usually need to wait like 30 seconds like it will fail the first time and then you just need to wait a bit and then uh, your domain should be added to your go high level account so yeah it's uh it did recognize it yet but um i will just wait a minute and then click try again and alternatively what you can do if you're not on godaddy for any reason you can click uh add records manually and this will just show you the record that you need to add in your dns settings so i don't know if you're familiar with all this but um, basically when you log into your domain host so let it be godaddy you can go into the dns settings and it's pretty easy you just need to click add new record and put those values in right here so just copy them it's pretty straightforward and then you click verify records and after that your domain should appear uh in here basically okay so now we successfully added the domain in this case it's this one right here and now what you can do is you can add it to a funnel so um, those are the funnels that I just showed you that are also listed when I go to sites and then funnels I will just click on one of them uh, in this case this one and then I will select first step and that's it so just click link domain and it will automatically link your domain to it and now when this is done so now when you go back here to sites and then uh, to funnels and you select the right funnel then you can also go to settings and you will see that the domain is now added and you will basically be able to just use this domain for the website and sometimes it can take a few minutes until the website is actually live so when i take the domain now paste it in okay so it's actually live right now 
um, as you can see so it's ready to pretty much use for our ads now the second part uh, that I wanted to show you is how to actually properly set it up with your Facebook ads and this is the more complicated part because you want to make sure that you track everything so you track the page views and send the data back to Facebook you track when someone submits a lead form uh, on, on your website and also when someone schedules an appointment so let me just click edit on this website so I just put a quick go high level survey in here just for the purpose of this video and um, now how this works uh, is when you build the funnel out correctly so let's say we are a lead and we land on this landing page and we fill out the survey right here so we fill it out put the data in, and then we click on submit it will basically take us to the second step of the funnel so as you can see here um, the second step is this page right here named after submit and same thing goes for the calendar so if we would book an appointment on this calendar it would take us to this uh, final thank you page right here so I will show you right now why this is important to actually track the ad results so I don't know if you're familiar with the Facebook ads pixel but basically what you're gonna do is you want to go to your business manager so if you run Facebook ads you're gonna know where to find it but you go to business.facebook.com and once you're here you will click at the bottom left on the help symbol and then you're gonna click on go to business manager so this is how you get into your business manager and then you click on settings at the bottom left right here click on it and now you're in the business manager uh, so this looks kind of like this and now what you're gonna do is you want to scroll down on the left hand menu go to data sources um, and now you can either go to data sources or you can go to pixels and it's basically the same th thing it's just a bit confusing and then you will uh, actually you need to go to data sets they updated it and then you click add to create a new pixel basically you can name this however you want let's just name it test pixel and then we're gonna click create so the pixel is basically a piece of code that you put onto your website to track the results sounds more complicated than it is um, so now that we created the pixel it should appear in here Okay, so the test pixel is now right here in the, uh, on the left hand side and now what you want to do is you want to first of all assign the pixel so you click assign and then you want to assign it to yourself and the conversion API click uh, check this box right here and then click assign and you also want to assign it to um, so you click connect to assets and then you want to assign it to your, your ads manager so this is your ad account and you should have an ads manager listed right here whatever it is take it and click add and then it will be added to the ads manager so you can actually use the pixel in your facebook ad and i will show you how this looks like in a second but first of all you want to click onto the three dots right here and then you want to click open an events manager and if this is too fast you can uh, pause the video by any means and just uh yeah rewatch it and try to follow the steps so three dots open an events manager um, so right now we're gonna set the pixel up so first of all right here where it says gather website events from browser activity you want you want to click set up meta pixel and you always want to click install code manually it's just the easiest way so right here you click copy code so now you have to uh, copy the meta pixel basically and the first thing you do is you go back to go high level uh, this is the funnel again right here so sites funnels you click on the funnel that you want to install the pixel on and that you already connected with your domain then you click onto settings and now right here under head tracking code you just paste control uh, V you just paste the pixel code that we just copied right here in here and then you want to click save so now it's actually enabled and this will already um, just track all the page views so when someone visits your page meta will uh, actually detect that which is very very important um, but it, we're, we're not done yet so yeah first of all you want to click continue you want to turn on automatic advanced matching it's a nice thing to have go to pixel overview so just click yourself through this uh, very straightforward and now we also uh, want to basically set up our conversions so right now we're pretty much only uh, getting the page views 
we're only checking the page view so when someone visits the page but we also want to track the leads and the scheduled appointments so we can send that data back to facebook and it actually recognizes it as a lead so first of all what i like to do is i click on test events and then click the bottom one right here and then you can just type in your domain so just the domain that we connected the funnel with and then you click open website so this is just going to trigger a test event um, to see if this works and as you can see it fired a page view and that's it and that's what we wanted to do right now and now there are multiple ways on how to track the actual leads and appointments and some are more complicated than others if you're a beginner i would just um, recommend you to follow the steps that i'm about to show you so we are in go high level again and now you click edit to actually edit the page and at the top you will see this little icon right here it says checking code so you click on this and just type in what i'm typing in right here so actually the first thing you want to do is you want to go back before you do that and you want to click onto settings right here where you edit your meta pixel code right so the one that we copied right here and then paste it in here it's in here now so you want to scroll down and you want to copy this exact part so just uh, carefully look at it it's this exact part so it says fpq and then all this stuff but you want only want to copy this little part um, and then now we go back to steps and then you want to click on to edit <clears throat> once in here you want to click checking code again and then you want to type in so you just just follow what i'm typing in here that's the first thing you type in then you click enter you click enter a second time and now the same thing but with the slash don't ask me why i'm not a coder i just found this somewhere i i know that this works but you basically just type it in exactly like I just did. So one more time, this little thing, then you type in script, close it, two times enter, same thing, but this time with a slash before the script. And now you got this code right here and, and then you click in the middle. Uh, so in between those two snippets right here, basically, you want to paste what we just copied uh, out of the Metapixel. So you see it says FBQ track page view. So this is the code that we want to add so actually let me copy this so you just select this and copy it and you click save save and publish so right here this is the so when someone visits the page this is the first page that they visit so they visit it and it checks the page view so that's when you look into the checking code why it said page view here but now what we want to do is we actually want to track the leads and the schedule so we go into the second funnel step and as i just showed you when you submit the survey on the uh, first funnel page it will automatically take you to this one right here so this is the second funnel page and uh, right here you want to click onto tracking code again paste the same thing in here uh, leave everything as it is <coughs> and just replace page view with lead so it's as simple as that you click save save then always make sure to publish it so now when someone goes onto let me actually show you this when someone goes onto our main page right here so they click on our ad get taken to this page and they submit this survey right here they automatically get taken to this page right here which will then trigger the lead event because we just installed it on the website so if you go back to the test event manager you will uh, also be able to see this in a second but next thing that you want to do is you want to also schedule or check the schedules so just in case you have this so in this example i have a calendar on the second page right here so they can book a like an energy consultation so now on the third page um i want to click on edit again same thing we just want to go to the checking code paste it in here and instead of page view we now say schedule like this and then you click save save publish so it's very straightforward if you have figured it out one time and now again when someone reaches this page uh, a, a, another event will be triggered in this case it will be a schedule so um, this is pretty much all we need for now so 
we have the meta pixel installed right here and we have the lead and the schedule event installed on our uh, web pages so everything should work fine right now and you should be able to use the landing page for your website so let me test this one more time as you can see we have a lead right here so um when we actually go into the second final step take the domain paste it in here and visit the page this will trigger a lead event so um as you can see we have triggered another lead so this is how you set this up and then uh, you also want to make sure to actually use the right pixel on the right website for your ads but this is super easy so so let me just hop into an ad campaign real quick so for this purpose i will actually create a, a new campaign so just click create campaign like you would always do select leads select continue manual setup continue so the same stuff and um, here you can leave everything the same and in the ad set now instead of selecting instant forms you want to select a uh, website and this will change a few things so first of all right here you can now select your pixel so again this is test pixel so the one that we just created for this purpose and if you didn't add it to uh, your ad manager you won't be able to see it in here so again make sure that you click on connect assets right here and select the ad manager so you can actually see it in here uh, and then conversion event you just want to cl click lead so now last thing that you need to do is you want to click on the ad level so on the left uh, instead of ad set we switch to the ad level uh, select everything it's all the same thing as usual but now we have this section right here where you want to paste your website in so we go back here we obviously want to take the first page so you can also just take the domain that we just uh, connected with the funnel and then you can just put it in here that's it it will also allow you to preview the urls to make sure it's actually legit um and that's it pretty much it so now you uh, right here i would uh, by the way recommend to uh, select none uh, at least that's what i usually do um and that's it so I know this can be a bit complicated, so just pause the video, follow the steps, watch the video five times if necessary, but if you got it one time, then uh, it's gonna be pretty easy. So um, this is how you actually create a meta pixel, connect a, a, a domain to your Go High Level website, install the meta pixel and the conversion events on your website, and use them for your Facebook ads. So it's a bit of a process, but it's worth it. Using a landing page with Facebook ads will give you a much higher quality lead uh, in my experience. So it's definitely worth it. And I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this on lead generation, go high level, and especially solar marketing, if you're in the solar industry, then you can subscribe to my channel. And I would really appreciate if you could like the video. Um, that's it. Thanks.